Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Well, we're here on this job, as usual. Went ahead and started. As the title says, we're going to drop a solar-powered pump in the well along with a grid-powered pump for solar power backup. And I'm going to take you along. This is kind of how I like to do it. I just set a set of scaffolding up with a chain fall that we're going to pull the well up with. And I did go ahead and I get got the ditch dug. Goes up to the solar panel rack. It's got 500 watts of solar that's going to push this thing. And we're going to go ahead and take you along some of the pros and cons of these kind of systems and how I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these problems. One of them is that mess right there. I don't know why everybody wraps fiberglass bad insulation around the well head but what you end up with is a real good mouse nest and everything else and we're going to show you how to get rid of that problem put a heat tape in here and do a couple other things for it but let me go ahead and get this mess out of the way and we're going to get started so of course as usual i went ahead and jumped the gun but what i did was in order to get a good tight fit just use a little old propane torch, heat up that black poly pipe, slide it over that hose barb, and there's two clamps, both tightened in two opposite directions. Squeezed it down on that warm pipe and got a good seal. Then we wrapped up the end of the hose clamp with tape on both of them. This is the wire coming out of the pump and this is the safety rope and taped it all together. And this is so if it twists or beats around, it ain't hitting too many. Now we're going to go up about every 10 foot and tape the wire together. We're going to go up here about 3-4 foot and we're going to tape on the low water sensor, which will actually fit just like this. So if the well ever gets pumped down to the level of that sensor, it shuts the pump off. Let me get that in there and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here's the sensor comes on this 100 foot piece of wire and this is about eight feet up from the pump it really could be a whole lot closer but we got plenty of water in this well but what you do is you take the power cable the sensor cable and the rope and what you really want is you want slack in the wires because when this thing hangs down the well you want it to hang on the black poly pipe and the safety rope you really don't want it to be stretching the wires out so you want you can see a little bit of sag right here and some down there in the wire you want the wire fairly loose and the rope kind of stretched tight tape it about every eight ten feet all the way up and we're going to shut the power down and try to pull this other well up with a chain file and try to get this thing in the hole well here it is same on my hand pump wells everything else these four bolts around the well head all it does got a steel plate here and a steel plate here and a hunk of rubber in the middle and it just squeezes them down to seal off that well but we undid them pulled them up pulled the wire out of the cap and we just have this thing hung right here on that chain fall right now we're going to go ahead and just cut this rubber right here and remove that well seal cap and we're going to put the other one on and i'll show you how all that gets done well, there it is we took the old one off we slit this piece of rubber right here get around it now we'll put the top plate on with the bolts going down put the bottom plate on here and we'll be ready to this one right here is for the other well. I'll pick this up and show it to you. Well, here it is. Here's this whole thing right here. And it got two holes in it. And this one goes through the one inch pipe. And I got an inch and a quarter with a washer right here. I'll show you later on. But it just comes down here. We're gonna slide the pump in. Then we're gonna warm the pot poly pipe up. And slide it on the bottom of this piece of galvanized and clamp it off 
and then feed the wires up through the hole and I'll bring you back when we get to that point well there it is pushed it up clamped it off maybe hard to tell we don't have a whole lot of light today it's ready to rain you got the ends of the clamps here and of course you got this 220 volt power line going down to the other well you have your cable coming up here from the solar well so what we're going to do is just like before we're going to tape this up real good to make sure none of this stuff swings back and forth and the wire don't get caught on it and get cut well, there it is this is of course the 220 power line going down to the regular ac grid powered pump you just brought the safety rope up through that hole and this is the pipe right here that comes up from the solar powered pump and of course we're going to go down in this ditch and run it out but here's what it ends up looking like got two of them down a six inch well or actually six and a quarter inside of a weird size well casing but uh got everything else hooked back up we got the grid pump all wired back up and it's turned on and it's flowing um so now we're going to go ahead and take care of the water line and everything on the solar powered pump well we're up here at the control box it's almost ready to pour down rain again but all you have here is numbers one two and three and then on the sheet i made the black one the black wire which is number one green wire right here which is number two and white wire is number three even wrote it on my little thing right here the wh here on the far side is the well water high or the well water low and you hook it one to the common one to it it don't matter which one it is but uh you have to have the uh pump and everything hooked up before you turn it on and it is kind of crazy right here is the switch on the bottom of the control box and you bring it to you is for the power to turn on for solar and you turn it the other way for batteries no big thing ran the wires up to here i just used a piece of garden hose as conduit just if somebody stick hits it with a shovel as you can tell this uh sensor wire pretty small it's nothing but number 18 two conductor wire so it wouldn't take much of a shovel to hit it let me close it up let me show it to you run before i close it up again there's two dials maybe i'll re try to reshoot this maybe the sun shines tomorrow the bottom one here is speed and it goes from zero to 10 10 being the fastest and that just turns the pump up faster and faster and then you have a timer on the top one so if your water in, in the well goes down it trips that sensor it shuts it off and you have from zero to 30 minutes it'll wait before the it'll turn it back on it'll give your uh, well time it'll give your well 30 minutes to recharge let me put the lid on and show it to you well here it is and i know it's going to blind it with the light the first one right here is the power it just says it's on the second one says pump and the lights on saying it's green it's ready to go it's working and the third one is the mppt and it's blinking which is i think normal I'll have to look at the directions again but mppt is tracking it's kind of hard to show you the sky it's all but raining but there's an air light here one that says low power tank full and well low so if you come up here and the well low let it light is lit then you know you're out of water and it's waiting for it to recharge if you come up and nothing's going on and it says the tank full light is on well then you know your tank is full and we're gonna knock off today close up some things and we'll be oh let me show you the water right quick well we didn't make it yesterday to film the water it started pouring down rain but today we kind of brought broken clouds and here it is it's flowing out and if you can put your finger on it you got all kind of pressure coming out it's worked pretty good ways 
At the pump head, it's supposed to be doing about six to eight gallons a minute. But we got to go straight up this hill. Length pipe wise, we got to go up 90 feet vertical height. We're going to take about 200 foot of pipe to get there. And then it'll take about 280 feet to come all the way back down the house, dropping about 95 feet. So we should have plenty of water. But, um, shoot, I think if we get three gallons a minute at the top of it, it'll take two and a half hours, three hours to fill the tank up. And a single person will never use 600 gallons a day, much less a family. So, got more than enough when we get ambitious enough to show you digging up this hill. I'll bring a shoot another video when we get it done but we got some boys coming in on the weekend they've been digging ditches and we're gonna set the tank and I'll show you how to get that set up in a later video but as usual if you like it share it subscribe tell your friends about it if you need help or information I am a dealer for this well pump company and sell solar panels and hook it up I'll be more than glad to give you all the information you need put you on the right direction but as usual, like I said, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I'll see you the next time.